We have already worked on many long vowel spelling patterns. Today we focus on long I. I as in pie right there. Is that making you hungry? Because it's making me hungry. I really would like a slice of that pie. P I. That long I is the I E right there. Below pie, we have light bulb. Light. That I-G-H is going to say I, like in light and night and bright. All those words, they're handy to remember because a lot of them rhyme, but they can even be in just I-G-H, like as in the word high up in the air, or ah, you can sigh. Below that, we have I all by itself at the end of a word, like in hi, with that long I. In the middle of the word child, I, old child, we have a long I. And at the end of sky, we have that Y saying that long I sound. We know Y at the end can say I or E. And in this case, that's not ski, that is sky. Let's go ahead and practice some long I sounds in words. As we read some long I words, I put dots under each little phoneme that we need to pay attention to because some of these long I spelling patterns have multiple letters and that can feel confusing. I want you to get used to seeing that set of letters that makes the I sound as a chunk of um, the word and we need to hear do each little sound. So here we go, ready? We have this word, each little dot, gives us each sound. So we have I, N, D, find. Let's do the next one. There we go. Two um, sounds to make. L, I, you got it. Next one, lots of letters, only three sounds here. I, T. Good. T, R, I, D. Perfect. We're gonna do a few more together and then dots are gonna be gone and I want you to read those words. Go ahead on this one. D, er, I. Great, do the next one with me, only two sounds. S, I, awesome, two sounds. H, I, hi. And this last one has a lot of sounds. Ready, here we go, long I in the middle. K, N, I, M, mm. B. Climb. I ran out of fingers. All right, on the next ones that come up, there's no dots. I want to hear you do each of those sounds and put that word together with that long I sound. Ready? Go for it. Lie. Flight. I hope you said spies. Question word. We know that one. Why? Next one, mind, you have a sharp mind. Has the long eye in the middle like child. And pry, to pry something open means to pull it apart. It's probably difficult to open if you're having to pry it open. Long eye in the middle, just like child, wild, and they even rhyme. Last one is like in the word light or night, we have Excellent job reading those long I words. I hope you're getting used to seeing and recognizing those long I spelling patterns right away. Let's do some word sorting based upon those long I spelling patterns. Do you see all those I words right there? All of them have the I sound inside of them, in the middle or at the end. Above me, you can see a little chart that I want you to go ahead and get some paper, whiteboard, uh, whatever you want to write with, and I want you to draw that chart. And then at the top, I want you to write each of those long I spelling patterns. The I by itself, the I-E, I-G-H, and the Y where it says I at the end of a word. Then, I'm gonna give you about two minutes. I want you to quickly sort those words where do all of those words go based upon their spelling pattern? Now, one clue I'll give you is in a two-syllable word like, like tiger has that I where it's by itself, and that would be like the I in child, a long I, single I by itself in that syllable. And tiger has that open syllable that makes that I right there. If it was a closed syllable, that G would go with the I and it would be short, it'd be Tigger. Now, 
We know there's a character named Tigger, but this is Tiger. So there's a little clue on that one. Are you ready? Have you drawn your chart? Pause the video if you haven't, and then let's get sorting. Let's go ahead and check your work here. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight each word that would be in the different categories. So go ahead and check your category with just the I by itself. In that category, you should have written the word tiger and final and last but not least, tidy. All have those eyes all by themselves. Now, you can go ahead and check mark that you got all those. You could write them real quick if you missed any or just pay attention as we go along here. We have our IE category, and that one we should have found the word skies and dried. I bet you did. Then in our IGH category, you should have the word slight and high in that one. And last but not least, we've got our Y saying that I sound. You should have found the word dry and Sly. It's time for your last long eye challenge. You're going to see some sentences coming up here. Go ahead and read those sentences. Can you find the long eye words? You'll have about two minutes to do this challenge.
that you had a lot of good luck finding those long I words. In sentence number one, the stars are bright in the night sky. Did you find all three? We have bright and night with that I-G-H right in there in the middle. And at the end, there's that Y saying I in sky. How about a number two? Vi set the peach pie on a high shelf. We've got Vi with that long I like in high. We've got pie with that long I and high again with that I-G-H right there, that long I there. All right, number three. The ivy tried to climb up the fence. Ivy likes to climb everywhere. Did you hear that I on ivy? So we've got ivy, tried has the I just like in pie. We've got climb with the I by itself, just like in um, child that we practiced. And in number four, we find cries. My dog six sits by my feet and cries with an I-E. Now, you may have looked at the word sits and thought, maybe I should write that one down. It has an I in it, but it is a short I. We'll mark it with a scoop, not a long I. 